caught small silver bluish pills inside my hands. The pills, I believe, form a small pyramid. So he pulled pills in my hand, and the, pill, the pills fell on top of each other, and, he, and the pills literally formed a small pyramid. I've taken maybe three pills or four pills and I popped the pills in my mouth. I did not swallow the pills because I want, I uh, assumed the man had given me sleeping pills so that's why I didn't swallow the pills. The man did not speak to me. I asked him, are these sleeping pills? He said nothing as he walked out of my bedroom. Then another short white man walked into my room. He was holding the same flat that the first man held in his, uh, that the first man held in my room. I looked at the flat in this guy's hand and my eyes still focused upon, the, and then my eyes fell upon similar letters and one number, which was E, M1. The pills in my hands were in, you know, still in pyramid form, but I noticed a hole in the middle of the uh, pills of that turned into a pyramid. So the, the pills had piled up and formed a pyramid, but I noticed a hole inside uh, these pills that formed a pyramid, a small pyramid. in the middle of the, uh, the pyramid. Once again, I asked, uh, are these sleeping pillars? And I believe the man said, yes, they are. Then I believe I swallowed the pillars that I had uh, in my mouth, holding in my mouth. <coughs> Next thing that took place inside this dream was now, I believe I was in a drone that I stood inside a small room that had a tall window. The window may have been nine or ten feet tall. Next, my eyes focused upon a middle-aged white man, or he may have been a senior citizen. This man wore black rim glasses. He was some kind of priest. He was wearing a light color staff. He was, uh, he was holding a light color staff. Oh. I guess the staff symbolizes his status in Rome, Catholic Church. This man appeared to be standing on a box or crate. Then I beheld or seen a, uh, another man, but this other man was in a bed. This man was lying down on his back and his face was facing up to the ceiling. This man and the man in the man that was in the bed Laying the bed appeared to be a lack called basical or uh, somewhat like comatose in the low way. Then the priest on the box said to the man laying down, You just died yesterday. Next, I seen the man who was lying down in the bed was now up and about. I stood in front of the man who was once in the bed. He was the same man that was in the bed, uh, gotten up. The other man with the pale glasses was walking behind the risen man from the bed. The man who risen from the bed said, which I believe is what he said,
actually the man with the rimmed glasses told the man that has risen from the bed, your appearance is not good. Your appearance is not good. But your appearance will be used to represent difficult times ahead. Then I heard the risen man say, I'm willing to play along with the game. And the last thing that took place in this dream was now I found myself back inside the room. Uh, actually, I was still in the room with the priest and the risen man. And this risen man stood uh, over me. I stood in front of him, uh, more or less like, you know, on my knees, but I was not facing his stomach. I was on my knees facing forward, and he more or less stood over me. Then the risen man and I, we were looking through the tall window. And I believe I seen Vatican Square. And I believe also it was nighttime or evening. Once again, I believe I still was wearing uh, summer, spring or summer wear. And I noticed I was very slim and very skinny. Then my eyes focused upon, focused upon upon four people outside of the window. Two individuals were wearing a black outfit and the other two appeared to be, I think, uh, security guards or whatever, or, but anyhow, one out of four, they, were at, uh, they had uh, TV cameras and they were recording uh, the man that had risen who was now standing in front of the, uh, the tall window. Then the, uh, the four people walked towards the window, and I believe the risen man held his arm in a V shape. And I also noticed that my right index finger was twice as long. And I believe my right index fingers was white. And my finger, my finger was pointing at the four individuals that were approaching us. I became concerned. And then I said to myself, why is the cameraman, or why is the camera being pointed at me? I haven't done anything. Uh, one last thing I noticed about the dream was that the Vatican Square was uh, nearly completely empty except for the four individuals approaching the tall window. And I woke up from this dream. I know this dream is kind of hard to understand, but uh, this person that I seen at risk could actually be the false prophet that the book of Revelation uh, speaks about will arise in the end of days that will have the world to worship the Antichrist, which is a political leader. All right, the next and last number in this piece is the number four. This piece is called Section 10, One Volcano Dream, or S10, One V-A-L-C-N-D. In a month of April 14th, 2011, I recorded this dream inside my dream book. Today I had a very light dream. I dreamt that I fixed my eyes upon a tall or narrow looking volcano. This volcano was spewing out humongous gray clouds from its dome and into the air. It was daytime. I could not tell where this volcano was located but I kind of sense that this volcano was located somewhere in the northern hemisphere. The last things I seen 